hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel once again with another new topic today we are going to discuss regarding our part 2 from urine analysis before starting the video i would like to request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel so friends uh, from our part 1 uh, that is urine analysis part 1 i just want to make a little bit of correction in that that in our first question regarding the the best preservative for use for chemical constraint is the answer which i gave you the answer c formalin is the wrong answer friends i just want to make it correct that answer a tolol is the right answer so please uh, make a small correction there so let's move on to our today's video so friends uh, in our video today we are going to discuss from part 2 questions that is uh, remaining 15 question from urine analysis so our 16th question is nocturia is observed mainly in your options a chronic glomerulonephritis option b renal failure option c diabetes and option d all so friends your right answer is option a that is chronic glomerular glomerulonephritis nocturia can be observed in chronic glomerular nephritis moving on to our 17th question polyuria is caused due to what option a neurotic polydipsia option b diabetes mellitus and insipidus option c diuretics option d chronic renal failure and option e addison's disease and option f all so friends polyuria can cause uh, polyuria can cause from all these disorders uh, so your right answer is answer f all moving on to our 18th question the normal specific gravity in random urine is option a 1.0012 1.035 option b 1.205 uh, to 1.305 option c 1.010 to 1.015 and option d 1.05 to 1.010 so your right answer is answer a 1.001 to 1.035 is the normal specific gravity in our random urine moving on to our 19th question low specific gravity is formed in option a hyposthenuric urine option b isothenuric urine option c hypersthenuric urine and option d none so your right answer is answer a hyposthenuric urine moving on to our 20th question which are the best methods used to estimate specific gravity in urine we are using a different kind of methods to estimate the specific gravity of the urine so what are they urine a urine option a urinometer option b strip method option c refractometer uh, uh, method and option d all so friends your right answer is all that is urinometer strip method and also refractometer method is these are all the different uh, methods used to estimate the specific gravity in the urine moving on to our 21st question what helps to measure the capacity of tubules to reabsorb water from glomerular filtrate option a ph option b specific gravity option c both and option d none so friends your right answer is answer b specific gravity next moving on to our 22nd question high specific gravity is found in condition like option a excessive sweating option b glycosuria option c acute nephritis option d albuminuria and option e all so friends your option answer e is option e uh, answer is the right answer that is high specific gravity is found in all these condition moving on to our 23rd question low specific gravity is caused due to option a chronic nephritis option d uh, adh deficiency that is anti diuretic hormone deficiency option c uh, atherosclerotic kidney and option d all so friends the right answer is answer d all uh, moving on to our 24th question urine order is aromatic due to the presence of what a volatile fatty acid option b fatty acid option c all and option d hcl in gastric juice so friends your right answer is answer a because of volatile fatty acid urine order is aromatic okay moving on to our 25th question the inorganic constituents present in 24 hours urine or they are asking inorganic constituents option a iron option b chloride option c sodium option d phosphate option e sulfur option f calcium and option g all 
so friends your answer is option g all these are all the inorganic constituent iron chloride sodium potassium sulfur calcium they are present in the 24 hours urine moving on to our next question that is 25th question 26th question the organic constituent present in 24 hours urine or friends just now we have discussed regarding the inorganic constituents now we are going to discuss regarding the organic constituents which are present in the 24 hours urine option a nitrogenous total option b urea option c creatine option d ammonia option e uric acid option f protein option g glucose and amylase and option h all so friends your right answer is answer h all these are all the different kinds of or organic substituents which are present in the 24 hours urine moving on to our 27th question the normal protein level in the urine sample are is option a 2 to 8 mg per dl option b 8 to 10 mg per dl option c 10 to 15 mg per dl and option uh, d uh, 1 to 8 mg per dl so the normal protein level in the urine sample the correct answer is answer a that is 2 to 8 mg per dl okay friends so moving on to our next question 28th question the qualitative method used to determine urinary proteins are option a heat and acidic test option b sulfur salicylic acid test option c paper strip method and option d all so the right answer is answer d all these are all the qualitative different kinds of qualitative methods which will be used to determine the urinary proteins moving on to our 29th question turbidimetric and sbax method provide accurate quantitative estimation of what option a proteins in urine option b glucose in urine option c ketone bodies and option d all of the above so the right answer is proteins in urine that is option a is the right answer moving on to our 38th question greasy cloudiness in urine appear due to what so when we uh, see the physical examination of the urine we can see the appearance of the urine if we find the greasy cloudiness in the urine because of what so your option a option a lipiduria option b microalbuminuria option c both of the above and option d none of the above so your right answer is answer a lipiduria okay excess of lipid in our urine they uh, they can uh, seen as a greasy cloudiness when we uh, examine uh, by the physical examination so your right answer is answer a so friends these are the part two question from the urine analysis hope you like it keep supporting me like share and subscribe to my channel thank you friends